turn around and uh, I start binging One Piece again. Okay. I'm in Water 7, Gali La. What's happening? A lot of people have told me that this is the greatest arc of all time. Now, I think this is probably where I'm going to deviate from some of the other One Piece enjoyers because some of you have told me that I will eventually like Usopp. Unfortunately, though, I have not reached that territory yet. I mean, I think Usopp, uh, you know, I just, there's going to be a little bit of spoilers for Water 7 here, so I'm just letting you guys know. But uh, this is a One Piece update, so I have to give you uh, what's going on. So, People have said this is their greatest arc. This is the most fun arc, honestly, uh, you know, but it's a very emotional arc. I get the emotions behind the ship dying, the death of a home, okay? This is not just their ship. This is like a friend. This is basically uh, an important part of One Piece. It's an important part of the Straw Hat group, right? And it's also not just like any ship. It's Usopp's girlfriend's ship, right? As you remember from earlier uh, saga. So, like, it's it's hard. It's hard to let it go, which is understandable. However, Usopp's weakness has been consistently annoying to me. Like, I feel like he's supposed to be like the Jar Jar Binks, you know, comedic relief. Like, he's, uh, he's like the George Santos, if you will. Uh, George Santos, for One Piece fans who are in here watching me and not necessarily politics fans is a liar, a very famous liar, okay? And Usopp is the George Santos of the Straw Hat Pirates band, but George Santos is kind of funny. Usopp, on the other hand, kind of annoying, especially because his cowardice pisses me off, okay? There's not a single person in here that's in that demographic. That's so. That would be so funny if there was, like, a guy in here who's like, yeah, I just come in in the mornings to get the One Piece update, and I don't really care for politics, but, like, that's the only reason why I'm here. So... Usopp brought the ship, which was huge, even though it was the weakest arc, in my opinion. The Meowraban was so fucking boring uh, and, and definitely drawn out. Usopp, I'm sure, is going to have, like, more, especially with his dad, with his dad's connection to uh, Luffy's old pirate band, you know, the red-haired pirates. That is going to come into play later on. But, like, I just want him to have a gun, okay? Maybe I'm too Amara brain, but I just... Am I crazy? I just want him to have a gun. Can he just have a fucking gun? Because I hate that he uses, like, that childish fucking, uh, like, he uses, like, he just throws fucking rocks and shit with a goddamn slingshot. And it's deeply frustrating for me because I'm always like, dude, your slingshot is so fucking lame. You are such a goddamn coward. And you got your fucking ass beat by the Frankie family, okay? And those guys suck. They're not even good. They got their shit pushed in by... Literally, by, by even fucking Chopper, okay? So, I don't know. I just want, I want him to be stronger. I want him to have cooler guns. Because, like, the concept of him being a sniper is cool. I like that. Cowardice is not a bad thing. No, it sucks. Anyway, I'm waiting for him to be better. But the reason why I built this up, the reason why I've mentioned this, is because there's an emotional moment in the beginning of the Water 7 arc. That moment is, is not only the, the fact that they are losing out on the going merry, but also on top of that, there is, there's a lot of like a drama internally within the group because, you know, everyone's pissed off. No one knows where best girl Nico Robin is. Nico Robin is best girl. Nico Robin is waifu. Uh, oh my God, I love her. Usopp loses the money and I hate when they get so fucking stupid. It's like one of my least favorite things. It's one of my least favorite fucking things about just the straw hat pirates in general, okay? Is how... Like, unimaginably fucking stupid they are sometimes. It's just like, come on. Like, that's too much. Like, you really you, you really couldn't just, like, hold on to a bag of uh, uh, 300 million berries? Really? Like, it just makes me so mad. I know it's a cartoon, but it makes me very frustrated. I'm watching it. I'm literally yelling at the TV. I'm like, come on, man. That's kind of, it's, it's a writer's crutch. Yes, I agree. It's like, doy. He's supposed to be stupid. That's why all of this is acceptable. So basically, it's doing his job. It's supposed to make you mad. All right, whatever. It's just frustrating. That happens. Usopp is also on top of being stupid, very loud, and cartoonishly uh, uh, scared. And I don't like that. I just don't like that. So the reason why I mentioned all of this is because I got to a point where like Usopp has this breaking point. And it didn't feel emotional for me. It's supposed to be incredibly emotional. They keep running the flashbacks over and over again. The do 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 do
They're remembering all the beautiful moments they had together, all those fucking flashbacks, and I'm just like, I don't care. I just don't like this man. You cannot get me to be sad about Usopp leaving. Anyway, basically, he fucking, he, you know, he got his shit pushed in by, he put up a strong fight against Luffy, much better than you expect, and then he leaves. And I just did not consider that to be sad. Like, I just, I could not get sad. You only like the hot characters. Okay, that's true. Zoro is my favorite. So, you're not wrong. He is my favorite. But, like, see, Sanji is a great, Sanji is a great funny character. Why? Because Sanji is powerful. He's, like, over-the-top horny. He's a major simp. And he goes fucking bananas over it. Nami! And also, Nico Robin and any other woman. And he's, like, stupid. He makes a lot of mistakes. He makes a lot of mistakes because of how horny he is. Okay? But ultimately, he is, like, very powerful. He's, he's just good. He's very good at, at what he needs to do. He's the best at fucking cooking. And he's the best at, like, uh, kicking. Okay? Cooking and kicking. I love that. He's great. And honestly, that makes sense. And he's not a predator. Yeah, he... You know what's really interesting about that? Like, as even though Oda is very clearly a pervert, I mean, holy shit, look at Nami's, like, tits and, and all of, like, the fan service that you see sometimes. Wait, why are you guys saying uh, Pepe Le not a predator? But what, what the thing I was going to say is, like, Sanji is, like, super horny. But in other animes, if you're, like... If you've ever watched any fucking anime, you know this, like... There are so many goddamn perverts in every fucking anime. And those perverts oftentimes are like literally doing sexual harassment. Whereas Sanji is just like, he's a pervert, but he's a simp. Like he doesn't broach into like, and maybe I'm wrong. Clueless, Sanji's not a predator. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But watching up to this point in the story, he's a horny dude, but he doesn't like go beyond uh, the, the, in comparison to how anime is. Let me just, let me just, uh, rephrase this in comparison to how fucking pestering and horny and awful the horny characters are in every anime which is like literally it's a fundamental part of anime you have fan service and you have horny characters right especially like usually they're old too sanji comes across respectful in comparison to the average horny anime pervert that's like trying to fondle titties and shit you know what i mean he's banned in some of the filler especially so you won't see it since you're skipping that oh okay I think you're describing hentai. No, brother. I'm describing regular old anime, okay? 